Welcome to the instructional video for the VT400 produced by Vibratrim. It is a two motor whole body vibration machine that produces three types of vibration. Last year we did receive the Editor's Choice Award from ReviewBoard.com. You're going to learn how to control your Vibratrim so it can do exactly what you want it to do. In this video we're going to cover 12 basic exercises, 31 strength exercises, 8 different stretches, and 10 different massages. Who shouldn't be using their Vibratrim? Women that are pregnant, people that have active cancer, had a recent fracture, have acute inflammation, have current blood clots, recent surgery. These are precautions, not eliminations. People that have acute thrombosis, severe diabetes, epilepsy, a pacemaker, known neurological conditions, acute hernia, discopathy, spondylosis. Always check with your doctor if you have any concerns before using the Vibratrim. When you press the start stop button, the machine starts off in the manual mode. The button's on the left side, controls the oscillation vibration. This button allows you to move up or down one speed at a time. The speed is indicated after the letter H. The right side controls the spiral vibration. Again, the button allows you to move one speed at a time. And the letter L indicates the speed. Press in the P button before the start stop button allows you to select one of the built-in programs. Press the P button again and we'll select the next program. At the top will show you which program is active. The buttons on the left and right side cannot change the speed when the program is active. The T button allows you to select the amount of time that the machine will operate. The left side controls the oscillating time, the right side controls the spiral time. The two buttons at the bottom will move both the oscillating and the spiral speed up or down one speed at a time. The DISP button stands for display and will allow you to select what is shown at the display at the top. The USB flash drive contains your programs, the ones that you modify. Insert your flash drive here on the machine and it will then take over. You cannot change anything else on the screen other than the P button will allow you to select which user program is active. Before you use the Vibratrip for the first time, it's good to discover the vibration. Press the start stop button, then the down arrow on the left side. This will shut off the oscillating vibration. Place one foot in the middle of the plate, then slide it over to the edge, and you'll feel that the vibration is still the same. This is on the spiral vibration. Put your other foot in the middle of the plate, and again, slide it over to the edge of the plate. Now let's experience the oscillating vibration. Push the down arrow to turn off the spiral vibration, the up arrow to turn on the isolating vibration. Put your foot in the middle, and now slide it over to the edge, and you'll notice how the vibration increases tremendously. Do the same thing with the other foot. Put it in the middle, and then slide it over to the edge. Now go ahead and stand on the machine, put your feet in the middle of the plate, so that you can experience the oscillating vibration by itself, and again, go ahead and spread your feet further apart so you experience the more intensity. Looking at it a little bit different way, this diagram shows that if you put your feet in the middle, that's the low intensity, put it in the middle of the plate, that's the medium intensity, and to the outside edge, we'll increase it to the high intensity. Starting with the basic exercise, your body position will be standing erect, facing the display panel. Your knees will be slightly bent. The stiffer you make your knees, the more the vibration is going to travel up your body. Hold on to the handles for balance. Start with your feet in a low intensity position. Spread your feet a little further apart to find the one that is just right for you. You're adjusting the intensity of the vibration. This is the basic position that will be referred to in the rest of the exercises. The basic position is nothing more than standing on the vibration plate. Standing straight with a slight arch in your back, holding your core as tight and for as long as you can. Do not let this be the only exercise you do unless you physically can't do anything else. 
With any and all exercises, most people can use the machine several times a day without a problem. We do caution you, however, not to use the machine longer than 20 minutes in any one session. Longer than 20 minutes will stimulate too much lymphatic drainage, causing too many toxins to overwhelm your system. It's also a good idea to drink plenty of water to eliminate these toxins. Remain in this position with minimal postural changes. This is a good time to use the manual drive. You can start with two minutes at a low frequency, then a couple minutes at a higher frequency, and then get it for a lower frequency. The advanced person will use longer periods of time and greater intensity, and the advanced person will use even longer greater time. One option is to define a program on the flash drive for these positions. We encourage you to, with any exercise, to begin with your feet fairly close together and then spread them further apart to increase the intensity. Depend upon your physical condition and body mass. You can tailor these to your needs. Classify the weight shifted to your toes in the basic position as an intermediate exercise. Begin by assuming the basic starting position. Lift your heels by shifting the weight onto your toes. Lift your heels alternately and to different heights. Bend your hips to different degrees. Learn how the vibrations can be controlled in different parts of the body. Your foot and calf muscles will be especially stimulated in the toe position. By decreasing the support area, your point of balance will be affected and your balance will increase. Hold on to the handles. Another intermediate exercise from the basic position is shifting your weight to your heels. Assume the basic starting position. Move your weight very slowly to your heels while simultaneously lifting your toes. Lift your toes on one foot, then the other. Vary the height to you lift your toes with each repetition. Hold on to the vibratrum handles for balance. Lift the toes of both feet together. Start with one minute at a low frequency and gradually increase your time and intensity and speed. You'll probably only be able to stand without support for only a few seconds. Do not be over aggressive with this position. You'll learn how your foot position will stimulate other parts of your body. Squats, your body position. Assume the basic starting position. The knees are to be bent, the chest bent forward with a slight arch back. Most important, do not let your knees go past your toes. The actual exercise, slowly move to the squat position and hold that position for five to 10 seconds. Slowly stand back erect and hold that for five to 10 seconds. Repeat this exercise either for a number of repetitions or a number of seconds. Holding onto the handles for balance. Also try this exercise by not holding onto the handles or with light weights in your hands or even more, stretch your arms out with the weights in your hands. One variation of this exercise is to place the ball between your knees while standing erect and holding the ball as tightly as possible, squat down as far as you can. Or the opposite is to wrap a stretch band around your knees and try to pull them apart as much as possible as you do a squat. An advanced exercise is to do a one-legged squat. Hold on the handles with this, then switch legs and repeat.
torso bending and stretching. Your body position, standing facing away from the display panel, begin with your feet shoulder width apart on the platform, lift your arms straight over your head. The exercise, from an erect position, very slowly bend the torso forward, this should take 8 seconds. Do not force this movement, just bend as far as possible, trying to touch your toes. Do not twist your body, squeeze the buttocks muscles as much as possible while doing this exercise as will take the pressure off the lower back. Slowly stand erect while lifting your arms back over your head as though you were trying to touch the ceiling. Bend backwards to stretch as far as you can and return to the original position. Hold this position for 5 to 10 seconds and then repeat for a number of repetitions or minutes that's comfortable for you. You need to carry out these movements with finesse and be aware of what your body is telling you. If you have any balance issues, do not try this exercise. The lunge. Your body position. Put one foot in the center of the plate and the other foot off the platform about 12 inches. Hold on to the handles. The exercise description. Place one foot in the middle of the body trim platform and step back with the other, playing up firmly on the ground behind. Keep your back straight and the knees directly above your toes and squeeze the leg muscle. Rock forward so you're putting most of your weight on the foot on the platform. You should feel the tension in the hamstrings, quadriceps, and buttocks. Hold this position for 5 to 10 seconds. Rock back to the original position slowly and you'll feel the difference in your body. Repeat 5 times, increasing the number of repetitions as you improve. Switch legs and repeat again. Find the frequency that's most comfortable for you. Repeat as many times as you can comfortably. One variation of this exercise is to spread your feet a little further apart and then slowly rock back and forth until the lower part of the leg on the platform is vertical. Hold that position for 5 to 10 seconds and then rock back to the original one. You'll feel the difference in your body. Switch legs and repeat. Pick the speed and the vibration types that are most comfortable for you. Advanced variation number one. Raise the heel of the foot that's on the floor. Hold that for 30 seconds and then rock back and forth slowly. Then switch your legs. Variation number two. Cross your arms and twist your upper torso. This will also affect your core. Switch legs. Variation number three. Raise your arms above your head and twist your upper torso. This will also affect your core. Calf raises. Your body position. Assume the basic starting position. Hold on to the handles. Stick your buttocks backwards slightly and bend your knees slightly. The exercise. Standing in the center of the vibratrim. Rise up under the balls of your feet by lifting your heels higher than your toes. Squeeze the leg muscles. Keep your back straight or with a slight arch and abdomen tight. Hold that position for 5 to 10 seconds. Slowly return to the original position. Repeat five times, increasing the number of repetitions as you improve. Move your feet further apart to increase the intensity as you improve. Find the speed and intensity that's most comfortable for you. You may want to start off with just a spiral vibration. Advanced exercise number one. It's the same exercise, but you're not holding onto the handles. Advanced exercise number two. This is the same exercise, but standing only on one foot. 
with the other foot held in the air behind you. Pelvic tilting. Your body position. Assume the basic starting position. The exercise. With your knees bent slightly, very slowly tilt the pelvis. Keep your knees and chest in the same position, moving only the pelvis region. Advanced position and for better control, place your hands on your hips. Your hands will feel and guide the pelvic tilting motion forwards and backwards. Do this exercise for one to three minutes, varying the frequency in the mid-range. An intermediate exercise is do the same exercise, but with your hands on top of your head. Side bends. Your body position. Assume the basic starting position with your knees as straight as possible. The exercise. With your arms hanging down to your sides, bend sideways, sliding one hand down your leg to your knee. Hold this position for 5 to 10 seconds. Repeat with the other arm. Variation. One arm is extended upwards over your head and the other arm is held to the side of your leg. Slowly bend sideways as far as you can towards the hanging arm. Do not force or bounce this movement. It should take 8 seconds. Hold this position for 5 to 10 seconds. Switch arms and repeat. Twisting, your body position. Assume the basic starting position, knees as straight as possible. The exercise, place your left hand on the right handle and rotate your body to the right as much as possible. Hold this position for five to 10 seconds. Slowly rotate your body back to the front. Now place your right hand on the left handle and slowly rotate your body to the left as much as possible. Hold this position for five to 10 seconds and then back to the front. An intermediate exercise, Begin with your arms outstretched to the sides. Start twisting as far as you can to the right while bringing your left hand to the right shoulder. This should be done in one fluid motion, then reverse directions. One leg standing. Your body position. Assume the basic starting position. Keep your knees as straight as possible. Hold on to the handles. You'll be lifting one leg at a time backwards and held up in a relaxed position. The exercise. Hold this position and try to move up and down. Begin with a low frequency and then a higher frequency and then again a low frequency. An intermediate exercise will be to move up and down as though you'd be doing a one-legged squat. The 90 degree torso bend, your body position. Stand either facing the display panel or away. Begin with your feet on the plate, about shoulder width apart. Keep your legs fairly straight. The exercise. From the erect right position, very slowly bend your torso forward. This should take a few seconds, then go to the right, 
cutting backwards and to the left and back to the front. Make sure you keep your back straight. If you allow your back to form a letter C, don't put too much strain on your lower back. Variation number one. Hold a baton or lightweight in both hands and stretch forward. Complete the rotation to the side, to the back, and to the other side and back to the floor. If you have any balance issues, don't try this. Bicep curls. Position of the body. Assume the basic starting position. Place some light weights in your hand. Remain in this position with only slight posture changes. The exercise. Slowly raise your hands up to the shoulder, keeping your hands in the upright position. Palms are facing toward the body. Keep your elbows in and move only your forearms. The upper arm is to remain stationary. If this is difficult for you, do only one arm at a time and hold on to the handles with the other. Hold this position for 5 to 10 seconds, then slowly return to the starting position. Slowly repeat this exercise several times. Now rotate your hand 90 degrees so your palms are facing upward and repeat. Now rotate your hand 180 degrees so your palms are facing downwards and repeat. Gradually increase the weight in each hand and increase the frequency. Some alternatives to the basic bicep curl is do the same exercise but in a modified squat position and then again do the same exercise but in a moving modified squat position. When you're lowering your body to a squat position your arm is coming up to the full bicep curl and when you stand up your arm is moving down. This should be done in one continuous motion. Tricep extension. Your body position. Assume the basic starting position, knees slightly bent. Hold a light weight in each hand or a single weight in both hands and place each hand behind your head. Slowly extend each arm upwards until the weights are directly overhead and then return behind your head. Repeat this exercise slowly several times. If this is difficult for you, use only one arm at a time and hold on to the handles with the other. Gradually increase the weight in each hand as you can. Whole arm extension, your body position. Assume the basic starting position, knees are slightly bent. The exercise, hold a light weight in both hands and place each weight next to your ears with the weight above your shoulder. Slowly extend each arm until your arms are outstretched forming a 90 degree angle with your body. Repeat this exercise slowly several times. If this is difficult for you, use only one arm at a time and hold onto the handles with the other. Gradually increase the weight in each hand. An advanced exercise, extend your arms out straight 
as forming an iron cross. Push-up, military style. The position of the body. Kneel down in front of the machine with enough distance so you can put your hands on the platform and rise to a military style push-up position. Use a rubber mat or a towel on the platform for comfort if necessary. The normal position of your hands is shoulder width. However, the oscillating vibration may be too strenuous for your head. If that's an issue, move your hands closer together to lessen the amplitude. If it's still too severe, use only the spiral vibration. The exercise. The correct posture while doing the push-up requires a straight spine. The abdominal muscles should remain taut as you perform push-ups. In the push-up position with your body straight, slowly lower your body with your arms as far as you can. Repeat as many times as you can. The modified push-up. If the military style push-up is too difficult for you, you might try one of these. Put your hands the same way on the platform as you would in the military. This time, however, your knees will remain on the floor. The correct posture for doing a push-up requires a straight spine. The abdominal muscle should be taut as you perform the push-up. In a kneeling position with your back straight, simply lower your body as far as you can with your arms. One variation, you might find it more comfortable to cross your ankles. A more difficult variation is to keep your knees on the floor, but raise your feet while you're doing the push-up. If you have any head or neck issues, don't try this exercise. The leg lift. This is an advanced exercise. The position of the body. Sitting on the plate, facing away from the display panel with your feet on the floor. Sit in the middle of the plate, towards the front, so you have some room to lean back towards the support column. Place your hands on the platform a little behind you for balance. While sitting on the vibration plate, raise your feet together until they are in an equal height through the platform and your knees form a 90 degree angle then straighten your legs so they can now make a 90 degree angle with your body. Slowly bring your knees back to a 90 degree angle. The only part of your body should be moving is the lower leg from your knees to your feet. Find the frequency that's comfortable for you. You may want to start off with just the spiral vibration. Repeat as many times as you can. dorsals, the position of the body. Sitting on the plate facing away from the display panel and your feet on the floor. Sit in the middle of the vibration plate towards the front so you can have some room to lean back towards the support column. Extend your arms behind you with your palms on the platform. The exercise. While sitting on the vibration plate, raise your buttocks until your body is straight and parallel to the floor. Hold that position for 5 to 10 seconds. Slowly lower your body back to the original position. The 
the tricep dip, the beginning body position. Sitting on the plate facing away from the display panel, and your feet are on the floor, extend your arms out behind you. The exercise, placing your hands on the back part of the platform, and from the sitting position on the vibration plate, raise your buttocks until your body is straight and parallel to the floor. Slowly lower your body by bending the elbows to a 90 degree angle. Hold that position for 5 to 10 seconds and slowly return your body back to the original position and hold that position for 5 to 10 seconds. Repeat this as many times as you can comfortably. An advanced variation is to put your legs out straight and do the dip from that position. The shoulder press, your beginning body position. Stand in front of the machine, facing the display panel. Leave enough room so you can bend at the waist and place your hands on the front portion of the platform. Stick your buttocks back slightly and bend your knees. The exercise, your hands should be shoulder width apart, legs and back straight, head raised. This exercise is perfect for the shoulders and upper arms. Keep your back straight with a slight arch and abdomen tight. Use a slow and controlled movement bend in the arms to lower your shoulders toward the plate. Hold that position for 5 to 10 seconds. Slowly return to the original position. Repeat as many times as you can. The chopping motion, the beginning body position. Assume the basic starting position facing away from the display panel. Flex the knees slightly. The exercise, hold a weight in your hands on one side and lift to the opposite shoulder and back down. This motion is the same as swinging an ax. This is why it's called a chopping motion. You can substitute a stretch band or a medicine ball for the weight. Repeat this exercise four or five times. Switch sides and repeat. Back flex exercise, the starting body position. Sit on the front portion of the plate facing away from the support column. Your feet are flat on the floor in front of you. The exercise, slowly move your shoulders back like you were going to rest against the support column. Keep moving until you make close to a 45 degree angle with the floor. Arch your back, do not bend your back forward. Keep it arched and hold that position for 35 to 45 seconds. Slowly sit upright again, rest. The abdominal crunch. This is definitely an advanced exercise. The beginning body position. Lie on the vibration plate with your back and buttocks on the plate. Place a pillow or cushion on the plate for comfort. Elevate your knees, forming a 90 degree angle with your calves parallel to the floor. Place your hands behind your head. The exercise. Crunch your upper body towards your knees and feel the tension in the abdominals. Hold the position for five to 10 seconds. Slowly return to the original position. Find the frequency that's most comfortable for you. Repeat as many times as you can. Do not perform this exercise or even attempt it if you have any head or neck issues. The sit-up twist. 
your body position. Sit sideways on the vibration plate. Place a pillow or cushion on the plate for comfort. The exercise. Sit on the platform and lean backwards, placing one hand on the floor. Lifting the opposite knee so it forms a 90 degree angle while stretching the other leg out straight and letting it rest on the floor. Place the other hand behind your head. With the elbow that is in the air, slowly try to touch the opposite knee with that elbow. Hold that position for 5 to 10 seconds, slowly return to the original position. Switch arms and legs and repeat as many times as you can. Do not perform this or even attempt this exercise if you have any head or neck issues. The side crunch, the basic body position. Sit on the vibration platform with your back to the support cone. Use a pillow or cushion on the platform for comfort. Lean your body sideways so only one hip is resting on the platform. Lift your feet off the floor, keep them together. Keep in the head, torso, and legs straight. With one hand, grab the closest handle and place the other hand on the floor. The exercise, slowly raise your upper torso off the platform Pull it up with the arm that is holding on and pushing up with the other. Hold that position for 5 to 10 seconds. Slowly return to the original position. Switch sides and arms. Repeat as many times as you can comfortably. Do not perform or even attempt this exercise if you have any head or neck issues. The lateral abdominals, the beginning position of your body. Place your forearm in the middle of the platform. The rest of your body is extended straight off to the side, resting on the floor. Place a pillow or cushion on the platform for comfort. The exercise, raise your hips so that your head, torso, and legs are in a straight line and tighten your core simultaneously. Hold that position for five to 10 seconds. Slowly return to the original position and rest. Switch sides and arm. Find the frequency that's most comfortable for you. You may want to start off with just a spiral vibration. Repeat as many times as you can comfortably. Move the placement of your arm on the platform to vary the intensity. Advanced variation. Try to push your hips upward at the same time. Do not perform or even attempt this exercise if you have any head or neck issues. Shoulders and neck exercise. The beginning position of your body. Kneeling in front of the machine with your hands on the platform. Place your feet on the floor straight behind your knees. For variation, you can cross your feet. While kneeling on the floor, start your legs at a 90 degree angle with the floor. The exercise. Rock your body forward until your body is straight from your knees to your shoulders. Hold that position for 5 to 10 seconds. Slowly return to the original position and hold that position for 5 to 10 seconds. Repeat five times, increasing the number of repetitions as you improve. Find the frequency that's most comfortable for you. Do not perform or even attempt this exercise if you have any head or neck issues. The pelvic bridge, the beginning position of your body. Lying on the floor with your head away from the front of the machine, with your feet flat on the platform in the middle of the plate. Place your arms comfortably flat on the floor along your sides. The exercise, slowly raise your hips until your body is straight from your knees to your shoulders. Hold the position for five to 10 seconds. Slowly lower your body back to the floor. Repeat five times. Spread your feet a little further apart to increase the intensity as you improve. Pick the speed and the vibration types 
that are most comfortable for you. The lower extremities, the beginning position of your body. Sitting on a chair in front of the machine, place your feet flat on the platform. Your arms comfortably along your sides or in your lap. The exercise. Start with your feet towards the center of the platform. Slowly move your feet apart to increase the intensity. This is to improve the circulation in your legs. This is an excellent exercise for individuals that are wheelchair bound. If the person can tolerate this exercise, vary the intensity and frequency often. Find the frequency that's most comfortable. Exercise using stretch bands. The Iron Cross, the beginning position of your body. Assume the basic starting position, face either to or away from the display panel. Arms are relaxed by your sides while holding a band in each hand, with the bands crossing in front of you as if they were making an X. The Exercise. Start the exercise by slightly bending your knees, bringing your trunk forward a little, while simultaneously lifting your arms up and out, holding a band in your hand. Make sure your back remains straight and your elbows extended. Slowly lift both arms straight up until they are forming the iron cross position. Hold that position for five to 10 seconds. Slowly lower the arms back to the starting position. Move your feet to increase the intensity of the vibration. Progressively increase the resistance with stronger bands as you improve your performance. Repeat this exercise two or three times a week.